Welcome back ladies and gents. We'll get straight back into mind test and we're going back onto our YouTube channel but first I'm going to add some music. There we go. Oh no I wanted to minimise those. Okay I've already put on the mods for this and everything. Um, Technica's working how it should. The priority today is to go and get some ores. We need to get further down into the mines in order to do that. In case you're wondering, that's the Rhythm and Pixels radio again. I do like this station and the um, Fellas one as well. This won't take too long, it shouldn't. Hopefully with the mods I've got on we will see farm animals but we won't get the monsters. we're going to need a much larger base but I mean we've got the starter home for a start and I say this because we'll need space for using the machines and things like that when I'm able to get them of course it's down here So we've got no annoying spiders to worry about today, thankfully. And we're just going to continue down. a lot of mining I'm afraid but needs to be done. Press F5 and it will be able to show us when we're getting close to our targeted depth. At the moment we're 36, almost 37 deep. But we need the depth increased quite a bit more than that when we reach hundred more so we should start encountering other ores. That's not to say I mind having all this extra coal of course not, it's useful but we do want to find things other than coal. When it comes time for us to be making machines and when it comes time for us making a bigger base all this cobble will be quite useful finally be able to stop using cobblestone tools as well.
don't go for a surprising length of time without finding anything. But when you do, you'll find quite a lot. Below certain depth, you'll get more stuff. Copper and tin should be the first things we'll find. But we really want to get down to iron. He got beat. The rhythm pixel beat. What? you have to be sure because of the fractal nature of the spawning of these things. See, like there's one up here. Pretty soon we'll come across another opening, in which case I'll be able to go down. Because the last one that we saw was an unusually shallow opening. For a natural opening because I can always use the home command to get home immediately if I want to because that one just doesn't there's just no depth to it we'll 
sair de Bers. a better way down you see. Well, it's not to say I won't continue digging Deborah. I'm sure you don't want to watch a video that's of me just to to get down here. Please don't tell me this is another shallow one. Looks like we'll be making some more torches as well at some point. I mean, it is pretty intensive on the torches part. So really, we need as much coal as we can. Not only for torches, but also for when we do find the ores, we'll want to actually be able to process them. climb back up the water the same way as you could when you were playing Minecraft. Just collect these while I'm here, wherever here is. much difficulty getting down to a point where we can get some ores. Some 
sometimes though paths like this can lead to somewhere useful. I'm just hoping that's the case here because I'd hate for us to have picked a completely rubbish cave. Well, I'm beginning to suspect that's precisely what's happened here. we have, I'll just need to go look for another. This is a case of pillar up. around here. I mean beyond the occasional piece of coal that is. some more coal. somewhere else. Unless I get better luck here. Which I may. Here comes the point where I make some more torches. This will make quite a lot, and yes, we all will need them.
it is something you need a lot of in this game, is your, your torches. You're probably used to that already with Minecraft if you, you do play that at all. And bearing in mind, this game is more interesting in that there's a lot more things in here than what there are in Minecraft. You haven't seen it yet, but I've no doubt you will. Got this hole here. I will tell you the caves in here, they, they not only are they huge, they are really different from the ones that you might be accustomed to. will be away further down just ahead. I'm hoping so. Well, maybe more than one way even. Yes, more than one way. You can see down there the faint light coming from the mushroom. do have to be careful of fall damage, especially in my situation, because I actually don't have very much in terms of protection. In fact, I've got nothing except the tools I have on me. But at least now we don't have hostile mobs to worry about. Ah, now you see here. You can see we're coming across our first horse. So what I'll do, come down to that here and I'll pull her off. And you'll be able to see what we've got. That's ten. I don't think you can make tin tools. Could be wrong. Hold on. It's been quite a long time since I've used these lower tier tools, because for the server that I play on, there's no need. You know, it'll really be iron that we're going for. We can also get diamond, but the best one that you want. I don't know about the nether one because the server I play on doesn't have the nether one. Um, the crystal chest plate. Now this is the one you really want because it's actually um, lava proof. You can swim in lava using that. So if you wanted to know what the equivalent is in Minecraft then that would be something that would be uh, the netherite. And here we go, we've, uh, we've reached copper. So when it comes to making machines, believe me, you need a ton of copper, and I mean a ton of it. I'm always running out and having to buy from one of me neighbouring players. Mm. Let's have a 
promoting. I'm still collecting the, the coal. And don't worry, we do not have to remember our way back home, thank God. Now it's a depth of a hundred and something, just over. start to see more and more now of these ores. Need to get deeper to find the iron. And the ore that you have to go deepest for, it actually is mace. Mace is the equivalent of redstone, but in my opinion, it's better than redstone. And plus, we need it for some recipes as well. Some of the recipes include, uh, that need mace include in the travel nets, which is something I would like. Let me just show you. These here. Because you need one mace block, which is actually made from nine mace pieces, and wrought iron ingots, and then glass. And of those, of course, the, the glass is probably the quickest and easiest to come across. But I'm never short of glass, to be fair. Having to be very careful here because the last thing that we want is excessive fall damage. So far I haven't approved any, which is nice. Okay, let's grab this copper. And here we are. This is what I was looking for. The most useful thing ever. It's a piece of iron. Don't tell me that's the only piece of iron that was there. No, there's more iron. Obviously, the deeper we go, the more of it we'll find, but there we are. Get the copper and the coal as well. Hoping to get a decent amount of iron to be fair because I would like us to have some armor.
so I'm feeling this one's... Yeah, that one's silver. We need to go deeper for the, the gold. We do need gold for some things. And if you wanted a very cool looking set of armor, you could even go for the rainbow mace. Well, we know we're near the level of the rainbow yet. The rain rainbow ore. Not rainbow mace, there's no such thing. This clock won't be able to get me. One thing I can do as well. I've forgotten that re-enabling the animals also enables them to attempt to attack you. I'm glad I didn't just go in there. Crocodiles when I re enable that. Hopefully it isn't hostile. 
Oh, but the grab is... Shit! No! No! You know this is not fair. That means I've lost all of my tools. I've lost all of my arms. And the chances of me being able to find this little patch again are slim to none. God damn it! Just how annoying is that? I, I don't want my food! Oh! That is the biggest irritation! That means I need to make more food and things, but what I will do... Right, where is it? That's all mobs gone. What a pain in the bum that is. No, I'm really... I don't know why that wasn't enabled. I'm really hacked off. I mean, okay, it's not anything that isn't replaceable, but still. That is really annoying. Not all of these are fully grown yet. with you, but next time I play, 
I would like to actually get and keep some horse. I'm really not happy with the way that things have gone today. But at least we're getting some food. That's part of the importance of setting up these farms. as well before I get back into the caves. to find that other place where I've gone and died again. It's annoying when you die and you're somewhere really far from where you want to be. or something. Not something else I lost in the damn caves. Okay. I will say for now, but at least you've got an idea, you know, of the, the mines and everything. I promise, next time you see me, we are going to get some iron and keep the iron and make some armour with the iron. If I can find the bones, I would, um, actually be able to get the that iron back where it doesn't look likely at this point. It's quite an annoyance. Alright then guys, if you like looking at this video then you know like and subscribe as always and I hope to catch you next time. Bye bye!